This is a short movie showing Image Pro Insight version 8.0 and its auto calibrate functionality. To start off with, you need to have an image of a stage micrometer in order to spatially calibrate your objectives or whatever other type of optical system you're using. You can either acquire the image through the, if you have a camera, through the acquisition dialog to capture it in Image Pro Insight, or if you have a previously acquired image, you can use that. In this case, I already have an image of a stage micrometer, and what I'm going to do is walk through the auto calibrate wizard for you. Starting off from the capture menu, you go to the calibration group, and I'll start the auto calibrate wizard, which is this icon here. This will bring up the auto calibration dialog box. From here, you need to enter a few pieces of information in order to create your spatial calibration. So starting off, I need to give it a name. In this case, I'm going to call it 10x, because this was actually taken with a 10x objective. And I'm just going to put a sample, because I'm using my own computer today. Then I need to tell what units. For your own particular system, you choose whatever is appropriate. In this case, this is micrometers. And then I need to select the distance between the lines. In this case, it is 20 microns. I can use the spin buttons or just type in the number. And then I need to choose whether it's a system calibration or a reference calibration. If you're not familiar with this, a reference calibration is nothing more than all of the available calibrations that you've created. So if you have five objectives, you would create one for each objective. If you choose system calibration, that means the calibration that we're going to create now will become the active calibration if you have a camera um, set up through Image Pro Insight. So when you require images, and that's the calibration that would be applied, the spatial calibration to those images. In this case, I'm just going to sim simply create a reference calibration. And then finally, show calibration dialog. This will bring up the calibration options if you need to set those. In this case, for today's movie, I'm going to show those. So when I'm ready, I have it all set. I've given a name, units, the distance between the lines, and I just simply need to press OK. So the auto calibrate routine will automatically go through, find all the lines on the image, and then display an overlay to show that it's complete. In this case, it's showing me the name, microns, and also reports, in this case, pixels per unit where I could choose units per pixel. So now I'm complete, the whole process is finished, and I'm ready to go on to do another objective or whatever else may be appropriate. I also have, as you can see here, uh, a marker that I've set up previously to automatically display the, um, the units on the image. Within Image Pro Insight, you can also see what the current calibration is. In this case, my 10x sample calibration. So at this point, we're complete and ready to go on. Um, one other important note that if you do have a series of objectives, you can actually link these calibration files to a particular lens or objective. So that when you change your objective um, through here, the right calibration, the right spatial calibration will be applied to the image when you acquire it. Thank you very much for your time. For more information, please contact your local Image Pro dealer or local sales office. Thank you once again.